Repetitive counter movement jumping is a repetitive vertical jump whereby an eccentric concentric muscle action of the lower extremities and trunk are used in a continuous manner. Based on the parameters changed through the repetitions, we can analyze some basic biomechanical and functional characteristics of the neuromuscular system, specifically those related to the neuromuscular fatigue developing during sustained explosive power actions. Enter the repetitive counter movement jump test module from the main window by clicking on the repetitive counter movement jump icon. Make sure you have acquired the subject's body weight beforehand. As with the organization of all the MARS test modules, the interface is divided into a left setup panel, a right analysis panel, a bottom measurement panel, and the central signals and results area. Before starting with the measurement, appropriate input parameters must be determined in the setup panel. These are lower extremities, where you can choose among bilateral jump, jump with the left leg, jump with the right leg, and upper extremities, where you can choose among hands positioned on the hips, freely positioned, crossed over the chest, or positioned behind the neck. After the input parameters are selected, the criteria for the termination of the test need to be defined. If the stop time option is selected, the measurement will stop after the defined time period. To stop the measurement after a certain number of jumps, select number of jumps and define how many jumps the subject needs to perform. The measurement will stop automatically after the last jump predefined this way. The measurement can be stopped when the tiredness index falls below a certain value, which you can define in the form below. If the tiredness index is selected, you need to define the number of jumps for averaging and calculating the tiredness index. To start with the measurement, click on the New Measurement button. After launching the test module and clicking the New Measurement button, initialization and offset takes place. During this time, the subject should not be on the force plate. If necessary, the measurement mode can be cancelled by pressing the Cancel button. Before beginning with the measurements, the subject has to assume an appropriate initial position, that is standing without any flexion in the knees and hips and with eyes directed to the front. The goal of the task is to produce vertical jumps as highly and as explosively as possible. All jumps should include counter movements to the semi-squat position, which is about 90 degrees in the knees. Initiate the measurement by pressing the Start button. The subject should strive to perform all movements as quickly as possible without stopping during the task, meaning the highest possible jump in the shortest possible time. During all landings, the subject has to make first contact with extended legs and feet in plantar flexion. This is of course followed by the required active counter movement. The measurement stops automatically after completing the task. It can also be stopped manually by pressing the stop button in the lower panel. The measurement can be repeated by clicking on the New Measurement button and not saving the previous repetition. If you are satisfied with the measurement, you can save it. The central window displays the ground reaction force measured by the force plate. Data from the analysis can be viewed under the Results Table tab. Each parameter calculated has nine values. A more thorough description of the parameters can be accessed by right-clicking on the parameter's name. Options for displaying specific sets of parameters can be accessed in the Parameters View menu in the right panel. For more information on that topic, please refer to Tutorial Number 7.